Good morning. Guess where I'm going and I'm going to be 40 minutes late to closing. <laughs> All morning since 8:45, I've been emailing and calling back and forth with title to schedule the closing. So the title company that actually has the file is way on the other side of town. Brittany and her husband live way on the other side of town. So normally if they have other office locations, you can just do, you know, a, a remote closing from a, a different office. And this is really, really, really why I was pushing to get on the closing books because anytime you try to schedule closing the day of, it's tough. So there was like four other locations that would have been semi-convenient um, for them to stop their work day and close, especially Brittany's husband, he's a teacher. So, you know, he, he's just been literally on standby. <laughs> uh, anyways, so literally at 10.30, she was like, well, maybe like, maybe 10 o'clock. <laughs> she was like, okay, you can close at this office for 11 o'clock. And y'all know I live on the other, other complete side of town. So, it's just, <laughs> yeah, anyways. So, we're going to closing though. So I might just have to sit there for a couple of hours. Hopefully not because Brittany has to pick up her son at 1 p.m. And I know she was just now stopping to get, you know, her her closing funds. But let's just get there, y'all. Like, woo, Lord. Yeah, basically, this is uh, the uh, amortization. It just lets you know how you're paying how your loan as it goes down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> closing is done. It's a very different setup and situation. This is really like a really, really, really remote title office, but whatever. We're okay. done. I want to thank Alexia for helping me purchase my first house. She was so helpful. I saw her on YouTube and then I emailed her or messaged her on Instagram and She's been so helpful through this whole process and anybody that wants a house, really, um, purchase or rent, go to Alexia. Thank Thanks. you. You're welcome. Congratulations, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey. It is Thursday, November 11th. Um, yesterday I went to Atlanta for the day, literally just for one day. Um, flew in yesterday morning, got back this morning. The online training that I'm in had an award ceremony yesterday. It's all real estate related. Um, it was the first one because this was the first year of her actually creating the online academy. So this was the first annual gala and award ceremony. She gave out 10 different awards. It was, it was beautiful. Um, if you watch just like my Week in the Life vlogs, then um, you'll see a little snippet of my day in Atlanta, but I didn't really record too much of the actual ceremony itself. But yesterday, um, we got good news. We got Jasmine's appraisal in, and it appraised for like a thousand five more than the list price, so that is awesome. And the great thing about the appraisal being in now is we were able to transfer over her loan from the first lender to now the second lender um and i woke up this morning to another email that um she has been conditionally approved um just based off of her income and all of that which we already knew because the other lender went through all of that but you, you never know um so now it's being sent back into underwriting um just to put like the final touches on things but the great thing is like now we don't have to wait for the appraisal and all these other kind of things that they work they wait for throughout the process which makes it which is what really drags out the process is just waiting on documentation and just all of that stuff so i'm hoping we did an extension till the 30th till the end of the month i'm i'm <sighs> We're supposed to close tomorrow, all right? That was the original close date. We were originally supposed to close tomorrow. I'm really hoping that we can close next week and, you know, not the 30th. Although Jasmine has already, sis, you got it. 
go. Um, although Jasmine has already rented out an Airbnb until the 30th, um, which I, I don't I don't know how I don't know how that works if she was to you know leave earlier if she would get a refund or not. I would hope so, but I'm not really sure. But it would just be nice because the sellers really want to close. Remember, y'all, these are the people that are getting divorced. Um, everybody just wants to close. I mean, getting to the closing table is always the goal. So, um, but I'm happy things are moving forward. I'm going to touch base with that lender today, Kayla, to see if um, the attorney was able to do the opinion letter, which is really what the, the hold up was, right? Or which is really the reason why we moved over to her because she said that could be done to be able to get... Um, her husband's caver is cleared with the, the um, default student loans and all of that. So, my fingers are just crossed that we actually pull this off. It'll be a Thanksgiving miracle. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Happy November 14th. Um, I am out this morning showing some clients of my mother's. She went on vacation. And she had a client come in town at the end of last week, I think Thursday or Friday. And her client is leaving today, so she wanted to take advantage of today also. Took a look at some property, so my mother tag teams me in. Tag your it. Can you show her some properties for me? Which is not a problem, because y'all know mom comes in clutch for me all the time. So this house is pretty cute. I'm still waiting for them to show up they're running a little late so i'm gonna just give y'all so quick we'll start tour. from outside we're in spring texas really cute neighborhood i actually know somebody that lives over here um this property is listed asking price three hundred seventy one thousand dollars four bedrooms three bath it is a one story um and i believe it's two thousand six hundred and fifty square feet so this is the elevation. It's really pretty. You have a mixture of brick and stone, which is always nice. It just really elevates the house. I'm a real fan of stone. Okay. And then this is an open door listing as well. So <clears throat> open door is one of these new Fandango real estate companies that, you know, Claim they'll sell your house quickly and for, for less, you know, money than a traditional real estate agent, blah, 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 which isn't always necessarily true because this home has been sitting on the market for four months now and it's a really nice home. So the question is, why is it still sitting on the market? You know, in the seller's market that we are still in, why would this home still be available so i have a few ideas as to why one because they're probably not really marketing the house which you don't really necessarily have to market homes a lot in the seller's market because people are just you know they're going to be looking oh, the door's making noise um but, you know, if it was a traditional agent, they would be telling all their real estate friends, posting about it on all of their social media, sending out flyer, email blasts, you know, mailers, whatever the case. <clears throat> sending out all of that, you know, just getting the word out that this house is for sale. Open door doesn't do that. You know, they just they just list it and go. And then... Another reason why it might not be selling is because Open Door only pays the buyer's agent, I think, 2% or 2.5%, which, of course, everything in real estate is negotiable. But traditionally, in Texas, I can't speak for other states, you usually get 3% on whatever side of the transaction you're on. So the listing agent, which is open door, would list the home, traditional agents would list the home for 6%, and then they take three, and then whoever brings the buyer takes 3%. Open 
open door because they say they sell your house, you know, quickly and whatever, whatever. I don't know how much commission open door um, contracts from the sellers off the sale of the home, but clearly, whatever it is, they only feel the need to give the buyer's agent, I think it's two and a half percent. So I say that to say when realtors are online on the MLS system looking at homes to show their clients, we scroll and we see what our commission will be. If it's less than the standard 3%, it might not necessarily be the first house we want to send our clients to show because we know we won't be getting all the bang for our work. You know what I mean? Not that we won't show it because clearly I'm here and I'm showing this property, but it's not our go-to like, oh, look at this property. So that's something to keep in mind when you're selling a home and you're negotiating with your realtor and you want to know, you like cut costs here and there. If you cut realtor's commission, you know, your house might sit on the market just a little bit longer. That's just a little tidbit of information for y'all. But um, that's the whole house. It looks really nice. I really don't know much about mom's client. I know she's moving here from New York. She's looking for two bedrooms down minimum because her mother is gonna be living with her. So when I was looking last night, it wasn't too many two stories like that. So you're looking at um, flats, ranches, one stories, whatever people like to call them. Um, because of course all the bedrooms are gonna be down because there is no upstairs. So yeah, y'all, cute house. What do y'all think? Hello, good people. Today is November 17th. I am getting ready to leave the house, but I have a few updates for y'all. Well, really just one update. Um, Jasmine received her closing disclosures last night. Um, all we're waiting on now is for the insurance company to send some document back over to the lender and we should be good to go with the clear to close, um, which is so exciting. Um, her and her family actually got in town. I believe um, her and her husband drove down this weekend, and then she flew back to Florida. She flew back to Florida to pick up her son. We were trying to go see the property because they haven't seen it in person yet. Um, but um, the listing agent is just acting real dry right now, honestly. Like I asked if we could see, and she was like, no, the seller is you know, still there and works from home and has kid and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay. I did, I followed up and I was like, well, can you tell me a time that we can actually go see it? She never responded, but we're just, you know. Jasmine was like, it's okay. We can just wait until we do the final walkthrough. Um, I guess they're just, you know, they're going through divorce over there and they're probably just irritated that this got pushed back, but we're getting it done. So that's all that matters. Um, so that's that. But I do want to update y'all on something else that's going on in my real estate life currently. I am headed to go meet with a new broker. Um, I've just kind of been feeling like I need something else. Um, you know, I've, I've talked about this before, maybe not like in an actual real estate vlog, but I know there's a lot of, um, new realtors that watch, um, aspiring realtors, you know, and the brokerage you're with really makes a difference in your business. So the brokerage that I'm with currently, and I've been with, I guess maybe almost two years now, um, it's a very transactional brokerage. They offer me nothing, really. Um, no training, no nothing. I literally pay a transaction fee per, per sale. I give them their coin and I mind my business. They did just implement a new CRM that I was already using, so that was nice because, you know, that cut some of the funds that I was having to pay out of pocket. Um, so I appreciated that. But other than that, mm, there's nothing going on. Like they don't have events. They don't, they don't have anything that 
makes the business feel like a business from just like the brokerage standpoint. So I've kind of been feeling like I want to immerse myself around just a new brokerage that's going to offer that so I can be around like-minded people, you know, potentially even have an office to go to if I just don't want to be at home, which I, I love working from home. <laughs> but, you know, every now and then it would be nice to go to an office, see other friendly faces, you know, just stay in the loop of real estate with other realtors outside of my parents and whatever real estate friends that I currently have. Um, so I'm, let me get in this car because these dogs, all right, I bounce so we can continue our conversation. So it's like what, 1250 now. I have a meeting with a new brokerage at 2 PM. I've actually been following the owner of the brokerage on Instagram for a while. Um, her name is Julia Wang. She just actually launched her brokerage. It's called Next Gen Real Estate. Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on with the light? Um, last year, a year ago. Actually, she just posted a post today that said today made it, I guess, almost a year of when either she d decided to launch a brokerage or the actual launch date. I don't really remember. But um, I've been watching her for a while, and I just like the energy that she brings. You know, um, it's it's not a huge brokerage. I, I don't think she said they have about 120 agents there. So they've grown very quickly over the last year. Um, she's been able to get a lot of people on. And basically just the energy and vibes that she brings kind of... They seem to match what, I, what it is that I'm looking for, you know. Of course, I'm a traditional real estate agent. But I do things, you know, more social media based and technology based and, and all of that, which a lot of brokerages are trying to lead towards that direction and, you know, have an understanding. But it's just better to be around peers that are like doing it at the same level or higher than me. Right. So because, you know, you, I, I want to constantly evolve. Um, so I'm going to go there and chat and see, you know, what their splits are, what type of training they may offer, CRM, just what their whole infrastru infrastructure looks like over there and see if it's truly a fit for me. I think I know two people that are at that brokerage, um, but I haven't even talked to them or reached out to them to kind of see what they, how they like it. Um, Cause I didn't want anybody to kind of like just, you know, mess up my my first interaction with the brokerage I already have like thoughts and ideas in the back of my mind about it um, the biggest thing for me though of course is going to be um, the splits so right now at my current brokerage um, I was telling y'all you know I just pay a transaction fee so based on the amount of the house I pay the brokerage a certain transaction fee anywhere between uh, I think the smallest transaction fee is $200 and then it goes up in $50 increments per, I think, $100,000 of the actual sales price or something like that. So long story short, I don't pay a lot of money to my brokerage at all. Unlike some brokerages you go to, you may have a 70-30 split until you cap. You know, um, that's how it was at KW. So I'll have to see what their split is, what their cap is, what they're going to provide me to see if me paying them this money is actually going to balance out. So right now I pay for everything out of pocket for my business, right? So I really need to sit down once I go have this conversation because I didn't do my pre-homework. I should already know in my mind, which I, I should already have it on paper. I know in my mind, but you know, things are just better in paper. Um... So I should already have on paper, you know, what my GCI is, my gross commission income, what my net is after I pay out my brokerage, and then how much, what my expenses are to actually run my business, right? So I'm going to do that when I get home after the meeting, and then I'm going to compare that to what they're offering. So 
if I'm going to actually have to start paying a brokerage more money, big dollars, um, how much are you actually going to be taking off my plate that, you know, is included in these big dollars that I'm paying y'all? Um, and, it, you know, is it just really going to be worth it financially and everything else? So, that's, you know, that's just, you know, real estate, y'all. We out here real estate, and it's not always just about the sales. You know, I got to figure out some other behind the scenes things too but I like to tell y'all a little bit of everything that's going on just in case you know you're looking to become a realtor but right now I'm gonna try to go grab some food real quick good evening good people good evening it's Friday November 19th and we got the clear to close <laughs> for Jasmine's loan holla freaking Louia yo after that last lender I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to just stress this. I'm just going to do what I got to do and put the faith in the Lord that it's going to be all good. And it's all good. We're we're all good. So we got the clear to close today. We're going to do um, her final walkthrough tomorrow about 11 a.m. Hopefully, I'm just waiting for the seller to respond and, you know, approve that time for us to go there. Because earlier this week, she was still living in the house. And I'm like, sis, why are you still living there? Um, but whatever. It's your house. I guess you can live there until you sell that thing. So the only thing we are still waiting on is title to not title. Um for the lender to send title closing documents. You know, this is always the thing. Um, but hopefully they'll get those sent out. But the the urgency of this one is is that there's four people as how multitasking here. There's four people on the deed of this home. So four people have to sign and two of these people live in New York. So since we weren't able to get out the, since we weren't able to get the clear to close yesterday, like we were hoping for, um, we got it today, but that means that they're trying to get documents out and they'll have to overnight them for these two people that are in New York to, um, to sign and then they'll have to get it sent back here for the other sellers to sign the documents as well. Um, so that's the only thing. So more than likely, everybody's going to sign Monday, um, but we probably won't actually fund until Tuesday, which funding is when, once funding is complete, is when Jasmine can actually take um, ownership of the property. So, but that's okay. You know, as long as everybody can sign before just by Monday really just to make it easy for everybody because I believe the husband or soon to be ex-husband um I remember the listing agent telling me you know like he he works offshore so he's he's going back out like on Wednesday or something so he's going to be gone for a period of time so we need to make sure that we get this done so he can sign before he leaves so you know y'all it's always down to the last minute for everything <laughs> But this is much better news than potentially we, you know, at first she was like, you know, we probably won't really be able to close until the 30th. So honestly, today is just one week past um, our original close date. And for us to have to completely switch lenders um, at the end, literally at the end, um, I still feel like this is a job well done for everybody involved, especially the new lender that took this on. So. I'm really happy. Um, I'm really happy Jasmine kept her faith in me when because I was like, please just just hold on, don't give up yet. <laughs> so I'm I'm glad we're getting this one done. But you know what? Let me let me not let me not praise too much until we actually sign them documents on Monday, y'all. So the last thing that I was talking to you all about before this clip was going to the new brokerage, right? So I met with the owner of the brokerage um, and it was it was everything that I was really expecting it to be honestly um, you know social media can sometimes you know what do they say they say it's just like the you know the real of your life of showing like all the great things but you don't necessarily like really see like true life um, but it really felt like like what they show about their brokerage which of course nobody's I mean, once you're a realtor, you know the ins and outs of real estate. You know what it comes with. But the culture of the brokerage that is shown and represented via social media and what I can see, I really felt that same energy from her just talking to her. 
Um, I'll throw out some numbers because everybody want to know little numbers here and there, right? So we've talked about um, caps and commissions and splits and things like that in, I think, another video. Um, well, I talked to y'all about this on this on this video. So we talked about caps and commissions and splits and things. So I'm okay with what the split is. They had two different forms. It was like 8515 where you never actually cap. And cap means like once you've paid out a certain amount to your broker, then you get, you know, a different, a different split or, you know, you give them less money. Um, so they had like 8515, which would just be 8515 forever. Like you would never actually cap, which, you know, some people are okay with that, just depending on if they feel like it's realistic for them to cap in a year or not. And then they had a 80-20 split with a, um, $20,000 cap, which is, it's $20,000, <laughs> you know, it's $20,000 of my commission that I would be giving to my broker every year um, for the things that they provide me as a sales agent hanging my license there. Um, it's not bad. You know, it's not, it's not horrible. Like, Keller Williams, theirs is, it was 18000 there, right? $15,000 cap with a $3,000 royalty fee, so it's $18,000. Um, so, I'm just like, I want what I want right now, right? Like, I, I've i talked about it. I, I want to be in a space in, with a company that's going to just help me catapult myself to where I'm trying to go for 2022 and I think the best way to do that is to surround myself with a brokerage with the right culture training environment accessibility you know just you know access to just whatever it is that they're they're giving out um so that twenty thousand dollars I'm just like it's twenty thousand dollars that's a lot of money I ain't never gonna say it's not a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but is it a lot of money to be willing to give up to hopefully potentially double my numbers from this year? I think it's worth it. So um, we ended the conversation on a high note. You know, she's like, "I like you. I like what you're, you know, you're bringing." We talked. You know, I told her what my numbers were for this year, and she was telling me, you know, the people at her brokerage. You know, this is their first year. Um, you know, launching the brokerage and to get into, I forgot what you call a presidential club or something, something, something. My numbers would have actually made it to be, you know, at that top level at their brokerage. So I was like, okay, well, that's good to know that I'm going to be around people that, you know, it's nice to just have that competition too, you know, of people performing at whatever level to kind of keep you motivated to keep going because it's very easy to just like get complacent and, and you know settle and say all right cool I made these six figures now what okay now I want to make bigger six figures so I'm gonna switch I'm just trying to figure out when's the best time to actually make that move and then uh just go from there y'all so anyways y'all know I'm talking and driving and it's five o'clock and I'm in high traffic so let me let me focus on that. good morning good morning good people Happy Saturday. It is the 20th of November. I am currently headed to go meet Jasmine so she can see her house for the first time. Um, so we're doing what? Um, so we're doing the final walkthrough on the amendment. We ask that they have the home professionally cleaned. Um, so that's you know one thing that we're really going to be looking for. Um, and then, of course, there was repairs that needed to be done. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot. We didn't do no repairs. We just agreed to them having the home warranty and, um, you know, money towards the little leak in the ceiling. Um, so, yeah, hopefully all of that looks good. These, uh, these sellers just, I mean, they haven't been bad, but they just haven't been like, you know, they just want to sell their house in. I get that. So that's that. Then I have to go show two lease properties after that today. And then I'm done working for the day. 
Um, you know, I'm still trying to work on this finding balance thing. I realized that this week I literally worked every day this week and like work like out in the streets, like showing properties. Um, I said my took Thursday off, um, but still like it's important to have balance. So somebody wanted to see some properties later today and I told them no, because I got things to do, like personal life things to do. And that's okay, you know, we'll just reconvene another day. So let's go y'all, let's hope that this house is in the condition that we want it to be in, you know, not funky because they had all them dogs and it was funky in there. <laughs> Happy Monday, AKA closing day. Monday, November 22nd, and um, we're scheduled to close at 1 p.m., but 1 p.m. is probably going to be pushed back, maybe a couple of hours. We'll see. Either way, I'm going to try to get dressed and head in that direction, but documents were supposed to be sent Friday. Just spoke with lender a little while ago, and Supposedly there was a glitch in the system and they weren't able to get things sent out Friday. So they're pushing to get them sent out within the hour. Um, remember they have to do, the, they have to balance and then do the mail out to the people in New York. And then we have to find so. <sighs> but. <sighs> y'all know how it goes, so. I'll see y'all at the closing table. <laughs> hey y'all, so it's 2 p.m. This is our original, was it two or one? Whatever, we, we st <laughs> still haven't closed. Um, but I am currently on my way to meet Jasmine back at the house. We're gonna do another walkthrough. Um, when we went on Saturday, there was just still a ton of personal items in the house. The home hadn't been cleaned yet. Um, just 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 it just wasn't ready it, like it just wasn't moving ready it wasn't looking what like we were expecting so um i took pictures while i was there saturday of just like they had a closet still full of like garbage bags and just personal items and toys like it was like a kid's room still full of stuff um you know they had like baby gates up all throughout the house there was a big old trampoline in the backyard, you know, just little stuff here and there. And the garage was still actually pretty full of stuff too, but we really didn't even get to go in there because they have um, those dogs. And the, do then the dogs are all, they were in cages inside the garage. They were just barking really loud and it just, they smelled. So anyways, <laughs> I sent the listing agent photos, you know, and told her she needed to, um, let me know once the professional cleaning was done show me um receipt show me proof of receipt of you know them paying the cleaning lady for the service and getting it done and then she confirmed that every all the other personal items were removed yesterday and the cleaning was actually done yesterday yesterday was sunday so and i'm just like well i wish you would have told me that was the plan before we went saturday morning to see this house because I asked you, you know, hey, we want to do the final walkthrough. You asked me what day was good for us. And if you're asking me what day is good for us, to me, that's you saying that the house is ready. We can go look at it, you know, like, but it wasn't. Like, you should have just said, hey, you know, everything will be done Sunday for closing on Monday. So we could have either went yesterday or, you know, earlier today before closing. But anyways, we're headed back out there now because, um, Neither Jasmine and I were satisfied with just the the verbal confirmation that it's done. We want to see it with our own eyes. Um, and then hopefully, I mean, we still have three hours in the day to potentially um, sign documents today. Um, it was never planned to actually fund today, but we did want to be able to sign documents today to process funding tomorrow. Um, we... All in all, it's still okay. My biggest concern is they need to get the documents to the sellers that are out of state and have them sign in, then that would need to be sent back overnight. If they can do that today, and then both the seller and the buyer, my client Jasmine, can sign tomorrow, and then we can put it hopefully earlier in the day and then still fund tomorrow, would be good. So, you know, I guess it's late in the day, you kind of give up hope, but who knows 
Who knows, y'all? <laughs> Who knows? All right. So there was a baby gate here that's gone now. There was the trampoline out here that's gone now. They've already turned the power off. I guess they had it scheduled to cut off today because closing was scheduled for today. So the power is out. That's okay though. Um, the dogs and all the stuff in the garage is finally gone. So we can... Oh, wow. Even this group, they really like this red color. Y'all can't see it. Oh. They, I wonder. They took the dryer. I don't recall if they're taking. Technically, they're supposed to leave curtains and stuff because they're attached and they weren't excluded. So that is what that is. Um, the house has been cleaned. It's still like, there's still a little bit of a smell just cause it's like deep rooted into the walls and in the carpet, but you can tell that they cleaned this door. Y'all remember when I was telling y'all about the door? Look at that. Look at that door. <laughs> they just, they didn't want to do anything y'all, but here's bathroom. Lease. I mean, they didn't get the best cleaning lady, clearly, because it's not sparkling, shining clean like I would prefer. But hey, it's clean nonetheless. And then there's a little bonus room up there. Mom. Is everything out of there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, except from, you know, Caden's name on the wall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> certification authorization. Like, I know at the beginning of the loan process, you've already signed this. So there are a lot of things that are redundant. <sighs> Hello, good people. Today is Wednesday, November 24th. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, I am headed to Jasmine's house to meet the realtor there, the listing agent, so she can give me the keys and the garage door opener and all of that stuff. The file still has not funded, so y'all know we closed. We ended up closing like 6 p.m. Monday. Y'all know title companies close. Ooh, hold on, y'all. I need to drop some mail off and the mailman is right here. All right, y'all collected garage door opener, keys. Um, funding still hasn't happened, so I'm gonna probably have to either come back, maybe come back out here or maybe, or maybe just meet Jasmine somewhere else because she's on the other side of town. So we'll figure it out, but I'm gonna have to get her the keys once we actually fund, even if it's, well, tomorrow, oh God. We need a fun today. <laughs> we got a fun today, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. I look rough. <laughs> it's 2.47 right now. Maybe about an hour or so ago, we got an email that funding has been completed at 121. They sent the email that funding is complete. So, um, I was out and about doing things. So, I'm going to meet Jasmine back at the house. Well, first, I need to go get her clothes and basket. I don't know why I didn't take it with me this morning, <laughs> but I'm going to go back home. And the crazy thing is, is I'm closer to her house right now, but, um, you know, the optics, the presentation, it matters. So I know she really wants to get that into the house because she texted me before I even saw the email. She's like, I see an email that's funded, closed and funded. Can we go to the house now? And I'm like, yes, but no, G give me like, give me, give me like an hour or two. So I can meet you there because y'all know I have the keys because I met the agent there this morning. Um, so I want to meet them there with her closing gift and, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Passing up her house to go to my house to get her closing gift to just come back to her house. You know, whatever. Gas is a write-off. Hey, whatever. <laughs> All right, back home, grabbing her basket, y'all. One thing didn't come, um, and so I'll just have to drop that off to them later. 
But you know, some towels. We got a little surge protector, candle. I think there's like a wine thingy down there. I love these little books. That's her family, her husband, her, her son. Some cleaning stuff. Um, spark, um, champagne glasses. We got our bottle down there. Ooh, look, look what I've done now, y'all. With the bottles, I got these labels made. Pairs well with the new home with my logo. Freaking love that. Um, and then there's one more cup that's actually in my car. Um, and then, of course, they're matte. So let me grab this and head out the door. You are looking for a house in Houston. Alexia has helped me find the most beautiful house, everything that I was looking for. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Mwah. And thank you again for everything. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy Black Friday. <laughs> Day after Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, Antonio has finally made his way to Houston, Texas after about two months of phone conversations, FaceTime, visual tours, and things of that nature. He is here. Um, so we are about to go look in a few different areas at some new construction properties. He's really liking the DR Horton homes. So we're going to go to a few of their communities and just touch bases and, you know, see what it is, you know, where his mind is. He wants something that is available now, moving ready now. Um, so it either has to be new construction that is available, inventory that is like complete and available now, or maybe we might even look into some resale homes. So that's where we're at with it, y'all. Oh, let's go. All right, y'all. It is now 4.43. Antonio and I have been out looking at houses since about noon. We went basically like on a DR Horton community tour. We went and looked at one, two, three, was it just three? Three DR Horton communities. Um, he's just really trying to narrow, like what we're really looking for time frame wise, you know, when he originally reached out to me, he was wanting to be moved in and closed by before the end of the year. It's kind of tough now trying to find new construction inventory, everything, that we've found within his price point, kind of where he wants to be. As far as Dr. Horton, um, he likes that builder, so that's where we're looking at today, is more so putting him in a January, February closed time frame because anything that's currently in inventory ready to be closed on is, of course, already under contract. So that's where we're at with that. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna go take a look at resale homes because of course those if we can find something to get their contract we can close within 30 days you know 30 days uh 30 45 days 30 days really uh, as long as everything goes smoothly so that'll still put him in the home before the year ends so that's what we're gonna go look at next but we're done now it's 4 45 i'm <laughs> headed to my parents' house because I was close to there. Gonna go eat some Thanksgiving leftovers and um, we'll be back at it tomorrow, y'all. Hello, happy Saturday. <laughs> Who do I think I am today, y'all? Like, <laughs> overcoat, <laughs> denim hat, just, what is this vibe? Anyway, <laughs> I am headed back to Magnolia. Um, I scoured, um, I scoured the MLS last night and this morning um, for a for just a home period. I was looking at resale and nothing was like nothing was giving the vibe that I feel like Antonio is looking for. Um, I really feel like he's leaning more towards new construction. Not that he's not open to resale. We might go look at one today, but I did find one new one. <laughs> one new construction home that is available it's 1759 square feet something like that four bedroom two baths one story that is ready okay just let's do the contract give us a 30-day close and we should be good to go i've been to this community lots of times in the recent um weeks 
Um, so I already know the salesperson out there, really nice guy. His name is Dale. Me and my mom went out there um, for other clients. And I was like, let me go look at Dale's website, see what they may have. And I texted him. I was like, hey, is the website up to date? Is this house actually still available? And can we, can we possibly get in before the year ends? Hold on, Antonio's actually calling now. Okay, so yeah, Antonio's there. I'm on my way. Um, so, what was that saying? Yeah, so I text Dale. He was like, yeah, you know, I was like, wanted to make sure, first of all, that he was there because we actually went to the community yesterday, but I think he was already gone for the day. So I text him. He's like, yeah, I'll be here. The home is still available. So, fingers crossed. Antonio likes it and wants to make a move on it. If not, that's okay too. Um, but then more than likely, you know, that's just gonna push him over till, you know, to January. And what I was telling him this morning is that, you know, besides just having him here because this was his goal date, if we can close before the end of the year, then he'll qualify for homestead um, tax exemption for 2022. Because as long as you owned your property before 2022, you can qualify for the tax exemption for the following year. So if we can get in, that would be good. So that'll give him a little bit of a tax break, um, which everybody looks you know, forward to. You can only do that on your primary home. Um, so this will be his primary home. Um, so, you know, just little things here and there. And then of course the interest rates, we've been talking a lot about the interest rates and you know, the news and all the articles are, you know, just discussing, you know, how the interest rates are supposed to be rising next year. Um, we've already seen a bit of an increase from the beginning of the year to the end of the year where some people were still falling into um, below three interest rates at the beginning of the year. Now we're getting to three and above or, you know, even potentially higher than that. So that's something that he's trying to, um, really lock into is you know the lowest interest rate possible so i'm just out here doing my due diligence trying to sell this real estate get some people into these homes before the holidays or by the holidays or before the new year you know whatever it may be um today is knowing y'all y'all probably won't even see this vlog to you know how, how i am but today is saturday november 27th so this is really 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 like 30 days in clothes if if possible so he, he's gonna have to strike while the iron is hot if we're gonna try to get him in something before the year ends um i don't know why i was still thinking it was like mid-november yesterday all of all of yesterday i had it in my mind that it was mid-november and it's not it is the end so we really just have december so i know that people were probably looking at me crazy when i was like close before the end of the year <laughs> So anyways, y'all, let's go check out the house. I didn't show y'all anything we looked at yesterday just because it was, you know, it was a lot of up and down, up and down. But if he likes this one, I'll definitely show y'all what it looks like. So we took a look at the original house that we came for. Antonio did not like it. He said it felt compact. It was a little, I think it was like 1650 square feet. So, you know, that was a no. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be making the goal of end of year. We are leaving. <laughs> I thought I had one in the bag, but no. Um, we are headed back to Conroe. Um, I think, from what I can tell, that Antonio was just kind of battling in his mind about like what location that he wants to be in. Um, and he really liked the house. He liked, you know, he liked everything about the area. But for whatever reason, he's feeling like he prefers um, Conroe over Magnolia, which is where we are leaving. So we're headed back to a DR Horton community that we looked at yesterday. Um, and he thinks he's gonna make the move on the house. So we'll see. All right. This is the house. This is the house, y'all. Messing up my Ivy Parks to get into the house. Ah! Woo! So two bedrooms up front, bathroom, garage. What was this, a bedroom? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it's honestly tougher to see. I'm just looking at a bunch of yeah. framing, insulation. Yeah, man, I just feel like this area is more B and uh, don't get me wrong, I like uh, Magnolia and everything. Yeah. That. That's like you said, I'm obsessed with, with Woodlands. Yeah, <laughs> 16 minutes down the road from Pretty Woodlands. Pretty soon, Connor's going to be the new Woodlands, I promise you. Yeah, it's building up. Yeah. It's building up. It's great tension right there, so keep building, it's going to be insane. Yeah. Get that thing about that yard stuck. What? Ah. All right. It's a little sign. Y'all coming along? <laughs> you coming along? This is your this is your moment. Yes, it is. Hey y'all! It's the last day of the year, of the year. Gosh, last day of November. One more month in the year. I'm currently out um, assisting my mother with some of her clients, um, but I have officially switched brokerages as of last night, or like. 11 p.m. something so I am now with next gen real estate most of the day I spent just like doing all of the onboarding to get um, into their system and just get everything up and running smoothly so I have a few more things to do um, but I'm excited about it like they all have this full calendar of events and just a lot of activity just to keep my brain in the real estate realm so i'm excited about that but i just wanted to hop on and go ahead and end the vlog for november i hope you all enjoyed it um i felt like this month was full of activity so until next time make sure you subscribe like and share bye